Good afternoon, TikTok, and welcome to William's Walk Through the Mausoleum. Do you know what happens after your funeral? In a few short hours, the crying will die down, and your family will be busy making arrangements for food or drink for your friends and relatives. Some of your relatives will start discussing current events over coffee. And some people will call your family to tell them that they can't make it in person because of an emergency. Some people will secretly start making travel arrangements because life is just too short. And someone in your family will start arguing that they contributed more financially to the funeral than others did. Eventually, the crowd is going to go their separate ways. And in the coming days and weeks, your cell phone might ring on occasion from people who didn't realize that you've died. Your employer will begin to search for your replacement. In a few days, your children will go back to work because their bereavement leave has run out. In a month, your spouse will be watching a comedy on TV and start to laugh. You'll be forgotten at an astonishing pace. Everyone's life will go back to normal. There'll be new elections, new scandals, and the traffic on the daily commute will be the same, and the Super Bowl will go on just as planned. Meanwhile, the first anniversary of your passing will be celebrated in a grand manner. But in the blink of an eye, years are going to have gone by and there'll be very few people left to remember you. One day, looking at old photos, a friend might remember you. In your community, of the hundreds of people you became acquainted with, only one person may remember you and think about you sometime. Now tell me, if people will forget you so easily, then who are you living your life for? Who are you worried about? You spent your whole life worrying about what people will think about you. They don't. And they won't. So live your life for you. Have a good afternoon. Good morning, beloved. I believe everything, most of everything he said is absolutely true in this video. However, I want to add my last two cents. At the end, he said, we shouldn't worry about what people think. We should live our lives for ourselves. Like he said, live your life for yourself. Now, I will disagree with that part. But I do everything else he said in the entire video up until that point. I agree with him. Because when you live your life for yourself, you become a selfish, self-centered, self-focused, narcissist, egotistical, maniacal windbag. <laughs> Did I have enough words in there? Okay. Are you with me? People who are self, live for themselves. If you live for yourself, you're going to die for yourself or die onto yourself. And really, people who live for themselves are the ones who are quickly forgotten because they never live their lives for anybody else other than themselves. Other than themselves. And Jesus, our Lord and Savior, did not live for himself. So I don't understand why we Christians should even agree that we should live for ourselves. I think the point you're trying to make was don't worry about what people say. Yes, that's a fact. I agree with that. But don't encourage people in this in the world that is so selfish and self-centered. Tell them to live for themselves. People, I refuse to live for myself. I'm going to live for the world. When I say live for the world, I mean live a life that when you are dead and gone, that somebody else will come after you and they will benefit from your life. Your life will, because you live on this earth, Someone else's life will be better and easier because of the sacrifice and the price that you pay and the legacy that you left behind. Our value as human beings, whether even you Christian or not, our value as human beings, as humanity, we have to ask, whose life, who is benefiting from my life? Who's, who's going to benefit after I'm gone? That means the things that I have done while I was alive. Is it going to benefit anybody else or just myself? Take, for example, uh, Mother Teresa. She didn't live for herself. She lived to impact and influence humanity that she's still being remembered and celebrated till today. There are places, university, I'm sure, streets and stuff in India that are named after her. Look at our great, wonderful Martin Luther King Jr., the one who said, I've had a dream. 
There are cities, streets, highway, whole neighborhood that are named after him. We even have a whole holiday in America to celebrate his birthday. He didn't live for himself. And you can put, you can mention quite a few people put their names in the list. They did not live for themselves. Take our wonderful, fabulous, great Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for us Christians. He also did not live for himself. That's why he's being remembered to today, and he will be remembered throughout eternity. So our question to ourselves, every day we ask, what value is my life adding to anybody? What value is my life adding to the kingdom of God? What value is my life adding to even my own children or immediate family or friends? So this dude video was good up until the last sentence when he said, live for yourself. I got to cancel that 100%. Because when you live for yourself, you will die unto yourself. And that's how can you be easily and quickly forgotten within a few days, few weeks, maybe a year or two years. That's you're forgotten. You know what I know about you? We should live to impact, change, transform, and influence our society and the world. This one, you're gone. They can name a whole highway, a whole city. They can even celebrate your entire birthday becomes what a holiday on the calendar. We should make up our mind that history will speak well of me because I intend to write it or make it or break it to become pathfinder, trailblazers, game changers. Game changers don't really live for themselves, really. Because if you live for yourself, you just satisfied. You got a job, go to college, you get a job, you get a husband, wife, you get a dog, car, whatever. And you work decent, you die, that's it. That's pretty much my living for themselves. We're not supposed to live for ourselves. This is not even about being Christian, just humanity as a whole. Everybody wants to be remembered while they're dead and gone. So then live a life that can influence and transform humanity, that your life benefited people so much so that even your death, your life still benefit them because while they are they are living better, that some of the pain has been reduced. Things in their lives are better because you, you created a path where there was no way to go. You became a trailblazer, now they can, they can follow in your footsteps because of the path that you left behind with the life that you lived. So ain't nobody supposed to say, live for yourself. I, I understand the point you're trying to get at, trying to say that, don't worry about what people think. I agree 100%, but don't tell me, live for myself. Selfish, self-centered, egotistical, narcissist, live for themselves a person that had the heart filled with love for god love for themselves and love for humanity will not live for themselves they will do everything they can in their power to sacrifice to make the life of those coming after them better i think that's how you should have ended your video sir but everything else you said i agree with it i appreciate you i don't know who this dude is but that that's a thought-provoking video Minus the last sentence when he said live for yourself. I put a big X on that. I had to add my two cents now. You know that's what social media is. Somebody make a video. They call it reaction video. So I had to do my own reaction. Thank you. And let me know your, your point of view. What you think. Bless you.